Parshas Pinchas. Pesach says, "Bamidbar Chav Zayin, Pesach Yutches." The Pesach says, "Vayoymar Hashem al Moshe, Kachno es Yeshua ben Nun ish Asher Ruach Boi." Hashem said to Moshe that the one who will fill your shoes, the one who will take over to be the Manig Yisrael, the leader of Yisrael, is Yeshua ben Nun ish Asher Ruach Boi. Yeshua ben Nun was the choice of Hashem to be the Manig Yisrael, to bring Kal Yisrael and Teretz Yisrael in the place of Moshe Rabbeinu. Even though there were many people that were greater than Yeshua, like the Ramban says that when the Mraglim, the Mraglim were enumerated in the Parsha Shlach, um, the order of the Miraglim was according to their greatness. That's the way the Ramban learns. So Kolev is mentioned before Yeshua. Kolev is greater than Yeshua. And nevertheless, Yeshua was chosen to be the leader of Christ. So why? So Rashi will explain. Um, that Yeshua of the entire Klal Yisrael had a certain greatness that nobody else had. Even though there were others that were more learned than Yeshua, as the Ramban just said, nevertheless, Yeshua had something special that no other member of Klal Yisrael has had. He was greater than everybody in this respect, Ish Asher Ruach Boi, a person who had spirit in him. What does that mean? Just to digress for one moment, even though Chazal say that the reason that Yeshua was chosen was because he was Meshamish, Meshur Abenu. He attended Moshe Rabbeinu, and that's a different discussion. But even though Chazal do say that, but ein mikra pshutai, the simple uh, shot in the Pasik is it is because ish asher ruach boy because he had spirit in him, that's why he was chosen. Now, what does that mean? The Pasik says. In, in in Bamidbar Chov Zayin Pasuk Yud Zayin the Pasuk says that Moshe Rabbeinu requested Yifkoid Hashem Elekei Horuchais Ish Al Ho'edo let the Rebbeinu Shloilam select who is, who is the God of the spirits, Elakei Horuchais. Let Hashem Elakei Horuchais appoint a person on the congregation, over the congregation. Rashi says that what was Moshe Rabbeinu's request? Upirish Rashi. Rashi said, Oma Lefonov. Moshe Rabbeinu said to the Rebbeinu Shleilam, Rebbeinu Shleilam, Golui v'yadua l'fanecho, daitoi shel kol echad v'yechod. Rebbeinu Shleilam, it's revealed to you and known to you the, what the mind said, what's going on in the mind of each and every one, each and every member of Kal Yisrael. Ve'einan doimim zelo zeh, they are not similar. Each person is different, different temperament, different midos, different personality, different thinking, different thoughts. So Moshe Rabbeinu requested this before Hashem 
appointed, said he wants to appoint Yeshua. Moshe Rabbeinu asked, Moshe Rabbeinu asked, Rabbeinu Shlodom, appoint somebody. You know, Rabbeinu Shlodom, you know the mindset of every different, every person in Klai Yisrael, it's different one from the other. Mane Alehem Manhig. Rabbeinu Shlodom, appoint a leader that he would be patient and tolerant of each one according to the person's mindset. And that's what the Rebbein Shalom did. The Rebbein Shalom, the Rebbein Shalom did do exactly that. And the Rebbein Shalom said, I'm doing exactly what you asked. I'm doing exactly what you asked. You asked me to appoint somebody that can be patient and tolerate, to- tolerant with Kal Yisrael. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And that's why I want to appoint Yahushua. Rashi says this clearly. Rashi says this clearly. Um, in Perik Chav Zayin, Pasik Yud Yud Ches. Which means to say, the leader of Klai Yisrael must not have one conduct, one behavior which is, everybody's the same. Everybody's the same? No. He has to be able to deal with each one separately, individually. If this person is a Balkaisen, he gets angry. You have to deal with him in a certain way. If this person is super sensitive, you have to deal with him in a certain way. The Rebbein Shlenim knows the temperament of each one. And that was the request of Moshe Rabbeinu, appoint somebody who can deal with each one according to his own temperaments, according to his own thoughts. And that's what Hashem agreed to. And this seems to say, perhaps there's a message here for us. And even though we're not on a level to be a manig Yisrael, to be a leader of Israel, but we should emulate Yeshua. To know how to get along with each other. This, you can't deal with everybody the same way. This one you have to speak to softer. This one you have to speak to stronger. This way... You have to be able to, Yeshua was more qualified in being able to do that than any other member of Klai Yisrael, and that's the reason that Hashem appointed him to be the leader of Klai Yisrael. Comes out from here that we should emulate Yeshua, that's the message, that's our uh, Musar. We should emulate Yeshua to deal with each one, to try to understand that each person, no per, not, not every person can be dealt with in the same manner. All people are different. And it comes out, according to this, that Yeshua's, Yeshua was appointed for Klai, to, Klai, to lead Klai Yisrael because of Bein Odom L'chaveray, because his superb quality, qualities in Bein Odom L'chaveray, in knowing how to reach each and every one had to had to had to speak to every each and every one. Uh, had, had to be careful not to put down this person gets angry, this person doesn't get angry, etc., etc., etc. The normal chaveray was the thing that 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 was the was the quality that Yeshua had above and beyond every member of Kol Yisrael. That's what Hashem. That's what Moshe Rabbeinu requested of Hashem, and that's what Hashem agreed to. The Abishta should help us. We should be Zaycha 
to work on our bein adam lachaveray, on our and our knowing how to deal with each other, not to hurt somebody, not to put somebody down, and that's who's will be zeicha to haromas karen atayra ubiyas kael tzedek mehera biyameno amen.